Hello, 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 boys, girls, and those out of this world. Eldritch Grandma here. Hope you're all having a lovely whatever time of the day and year you're listening to this. Ever since I made that cookie run smash or pass video and the subsequent cream unicorn pissed on Sea Fairy's waifu shit post, I've had a few people say that they would be interested in hearing from me again. So I thought about it and thought about it. And then I remembered the perfect story I wanted to tell. Allow me to regale to you all the Pikachu story. <clears throat> so before I got to the point in my life where I am now, being a full-time English educator, part-time writer, I worked retail to help make ends meet and help my mother out. Simple, average stuff. Well, actually, before I worked retail, I worked what I like to call the incredibly shitty warehouse job, but that's a story for another time. Anywho, I worked retail. Specifically in the healthy living industry. All those stores and companies that started popping up in the 80s and have more or less plateaued now. The stores that swear up, down, and sideways that they don't just cater to roided out gym bros and have options for the average consumer. Despite protein pre-workout and drug detox kits being the main reasons they're making money. Those kinds of stalls. So, here in the US, there are three major companies filling out this sector, as long as you don't count all the MLMs. <clears throat> Let's call them G, V, and World. I did not work at G, and I did not work at World. I worked at V. I worked at V for literally two weeks short of six years. I poured my blood, sweat, tears, and sanity into that job just to be abused, disrespected, stolen from, and tossed to the curb by the end of it. My mother used to constantly, constantly tell me this Nigerian saying, which could basically be translated as to, this is not your father's store. And for some reason, it just did not hit until the day I was let go. V as a company made a whole slew of questionable decisions and statements during my time there including the chain that would lead into the circumstances where this story would be possible. One such decision was their handling of our sister store in the next town over. Because, in their infinite wisdom, they decided not to promote the ASM of my store to manage that store, overworked everyone who did work at that store to the point that, except for an ASM and a key holder, the staff there was a rotating door, and one day deciding to blame the system glitching and not counting the till correctly on the ASM, threatening him with the police and a grand theft charge to the point that he said, you know what, fuck it, I quit, leaving that store without an ASM as well. Going back to that overwork element, it literally got to the point that everyone who was still at that store had worked so much overtime that, if they worked anymore, the state was going to serve the company with a lawsuit. So in their desperation, they started calling their neighboring stores to see if anyone could cover to help them out. And guess who was dumb enough and nice enough to do so? So I agreed to cover a shift got up at the ass crack of dawn to drive out to the next town over to cover an opening shift at this store. Now, some of you may be wondering, why did you have to get up so early? Wouldn't there be someone else there to open the doors? Well, yes, but also no. Because I had to get up and drive over so early due to the fact that the key holder would have to open the door to actually let me in on her way to the gym. Which is dumb, because they could have just had someone drive to my store, drop off a spare key to that store, and leave it when I left work the following day. Especially when the company themselves know that they have to pay employees for at least two hours if they come to the store for any work-related reason. I had to be let in. I was let in. The key holder went to the gym, and I was left there alone in a nice store whose layout and passwords were unfamiliar to me. 
in a shopping centre that was more or less nice, but ghetto all the same. Case in point, while I was standing at the register waiting to do my thing, I hear shatter shattering glass, shouting, and a car peeling out from some clothing store across the way being robbed. Fun! Alright, background aside, let's get into let's get into the nitty gritty of the story. So there I was, doing my thing and mining this store alone for a few hours. Oh, before I forget, here's some chronological context to help the rest of the story make sense. When I covered the shift, it was about a week or so after Detective Pikachu came out in theaters. In that job, I was always the one who dressed up to keep up morale for my team and customers. I wore costumes on Halloween, bunny ears and a tail on Easter, etc, etc. So with Detective Pikachu being in the public consciousness, I had started clipping a small plush Pikachu keychain to the belt loop on my hip. I did this for several reasons. One, it was always a good way of getting the attentions of children and our college age customers. Always great to see a kid's face light up and go, Pikachu! Mom, it's Pikachu! Two, despite it being a keychain, it had a little zipper pouch inside that I took to putting my supplements in. Three, it was a good buffer because I was always prone to bumping that side of my hip into sharp corners and getting bruised, so it helped quite a bit. Keep in mind though, it was small and on my hip. <clears throat> Two hours in, a woman comes in, comes in wearing the company uniform. She introduces herself as the recently hired store manager, mentions that they'll be interviewing someone in the next few hours, and proceeds to fuck off to the break room and leave me to, once again, mind the store alone. Fun! An hour after that, the star of this story comes in. At this point in the company, the role of district manager was being bounced around like Tina Turner on crack. It was one person for a few months, then another for a few months, back to the first person for a month, a new person for a few months, a clusterfuck! We could just summarize it as a clusterfuck. The current DM at that point was a wonderful ginger sold by the name of Eric. I won't say his full name because, unlike the upper management of V, I'm not a raging cunt. So Eric comes in, I greet him and ask him if there's anything I can get for him and go over numbers. He seems jovial enough and, despite not needing to, comes around to stand at the open end of the register counter. I was more focused on working. In fact, at one moment I had to turn around to look up orders. Yet, even though I wasn't focused on it, I could always sense this man looking down every time I turned around. Eventually he excused me to go fuck off to the break room and prepare for this fabled interviews leaving me to mind the store alone. Fun! Y you know, I don't think I got a break that day. Anywho, my shift eventually ended and I went home thinking nothing of it except, wow, glad to help. The next time I had to report to my own store, however, my store manager, by the way, I should have clarified how the hierarchy of the stores worked or still works if they haven't changed it. <clears throat> it goes, health enthusiast, your intro level cashier, stalker, cleaner, key holder, essentially have the responsibilities of an assistant manager but without the title or the pay rate, assistant manager, otherwise known as an ASM, and store manager, the big bosses of the stores, the ones who would get flown out to the fancy product conferences. At least until the company realized that that shit's expensive, just send everyone some video links and t-shirts instead. Anyway, the next time I went to work at my own store, my store manager pulled me aside and told me, Oh yeah, Eric said you can't wear the little Pikachu anymore, that it's a distraction. Now, at that, I was confused. One, keychains and pins didn't go against dress code or anything as long as they weren't offensive. Two, and most importantly, BITCH IF IT WAS SUCH A PROBLEM WHY DIDN'T YOU SAY ANYTHING THEN AND THERE WHEN YOU SAW IT INSTEAD OF BEING A LITTLE BITCH AND PUSHING THE MESSAGE ONTO A THIRD PARTY TO DELIVER? 
I mentioned this to my store manager in much kinder words, and she tried to brush it off with, Yeah, just make sure that you don't wear it anymore. I mentioned that it's where I keep my daily supplements, and that was still apparently a no-go. So I stopped wearing it in order to make peace. Now, some people might say, oh, well, maybe it was distracting and you're taking offense to nothing. However, let me offer a counter in the form of what happened the next time I went to cover a shift at that store. Because, again, I'm too dumb and nice. So, the next time I covered a shift, it was a closing one, and they really needed me to do lifting and cleaning because the only other employee working that night was pregnant. Cool. Fine. However, how fucking ever, when I had to go to the register to tell her something, guess what I'm nearly blinded by? This obnoxiously bedazzled, palm-sized Pikachu head amulet hanging from her neck and catching every light in the room. Now, at the time, I shrugged it off and said, oh, that's cute, prompting to prompting her to gush about how much she likes Pikachu. However, it wasn't until a week or so later when I was fighting both Eric and the head of payroll about how they had essentially stolen money from my bank account because of a direct deposit error that something clicked in my head and I went, Hey, wait a fucking minute! So, my little keychain plush hanging from my hip that you have to actually look down and over to see is too much of a distraction, but this light bright monstrosity was apparently fine. What the fuck? And again, I was too focused on getting the money issue resolved because I had to make rent, but it was still infuriating all the same. Especially when I considered the following. Eric had never looked at my hip where the Pikachu keychain was. He would always wait until I had turned around and then he would look down. My friends, my colleagues, my out-of-this-world friends. Let's just say that it wasn't Pikachu's cheeks that proved to be a distraction for this man. This man caught himself looking at my ass multiple times and realized he needed to preemptively make an excuse for himself. Hence, Oh, that, that, the Pikachu keychain is a distraction! Remove it immediately! So, yeah. That is the Pikachu story. If anyone wants to ask, why did you bring this up with your store manager or HR? By the time I thought, oh, you want to start shit, let me finish it, Eric had decided to leave the company. His reasoning was so he could take care of his parents who were in hospice. Was that the truth? Who fucking knows? Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this little ranting tale. Let me know if you want to hear any more stories about my time in the healthy living industry. I have more than a few. Whether it's my other DM cheating on his wife while she was dying of cancer and how everyone in the district knew. The various incidents with the homeless people in the area, including one of them trying to set our store on fire for daring to tell her to stop stealing from us. Or how I was let go for defending myself against a Karen. You're all beautiful and wonderful. Have a good rest of your day.